Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you, my dear students? Fine, teacher. Thank you. What about you? I am doing great. Very happy to be here and for sure to have another opportunity to share with all of you. It is a great happiness for me to be here and for sure to share another class with all these beautiful people. So, tell me, did you enjoy the beautiful traffic of the day? No, yes. I work at home. So. Oh, you work at <laughs> home. That's so fantastic. Yes. yes. That is so but great. The day was terrible. Oh, so my God. Hot. It was very hot indeed, right? It is very, yes. it was a very hot day. So uh, it is, it's, it was really horrible, right? It was really, yes. really horrible. So I need a I condition that. <laughs> <laughs> I, me too. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> Definitely. I need an air conditioner that it's something urgent, right? Urgent. Yeah. We yeah. need that one urgently. Good. Yeah. So uh, I know it was a very hot day today. It was hot. I thought it was going to rain. Yo creí que iba a llover, but it didn't, right? I am in traffic now, says Ever. Oh my God, Ever, where are you? Uh, the, the AC in the car helped a lot, it says. Where are you in traffic, Ever? It's almost 9, 10. Oh my goodness. Well, welcome everybody. What were we talking about yesterday? Let's see if you remember. ¿Quién se recuerda que estuvimos hablando ayer? What were we talking about? We were talking about inventions. We were talking about inventions, right? And we were talking about your favorite inventions. Which ones do you consider important? Which ones do you consider the best? Which ones do you consider really, really um, crucial for your life? So that's what we were talking about yesterday. So we were also talking about the two-part verbs, right? And when you use gerunds, when you use infinitives, right? We were working on that part. And we were also talking about uh, the different uses and purposes of things, right? We are going to start the class today with a couple of questions, right? I have here one, two, three, four, five, six questions six questions to start the class. And I need you, please, to choose one of them. Choose one of these questions. And I have the first one. How do computers make your life easier or more difficult? How do computers affect the way you spend your free time? How do computers influence the kind of jobs people have? What kinds of problems do computers cause? Do you know anyone who is a computer whiz? Or are hackers a problem where you live? I need you to choose one of the questions. Choose one of the questions. And write some ideas. Escriban algunas ideas en su cuaderno acerca de la respuesta. Okay. Read the question and write a couple of ideas. Hagan un brainstorming, ahí unas cuantas ideas. Okay, do a couple of ideas. Write a couple of ideas there. Uh, me teacher okay Sandra for, Leticia tell for, me yes for me it is very easy uh, 
um, work in document in Microsoft Office and other programs. Uh -huh. So it's, um, uh -huh. continue, continue. Uh, and the more difficult is uh, the video games. <laughs> The most difficult I'm... is the video games. Yes, I don't. You don't like them? Yes. Okay, good. So that is how they make their lives easier and more difficult. Easier because of all the documents that you can do and more difficult because of video games you cannot play on the computer. Thank you very much. Excellent answer. Edgar, go ahead. Okay, I choose the first one. And... The computer make my life easy be because uh, when I have uh, any homework, I go to the internet and then I can find any help by there. Excellent. Uh -huh. And how, that, how do they make it difficult? Yeah, uh, difficult is because of the games. They, we, I spend a lot of time playing games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. It takes your time. It's time consuming because you get distracted with the games. Aha. Very good. Thank you, Edgar. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. If not, it will be finger gratis. Cecilia, tell me. Okay. Um, in my case, the computer the computers make my life easier because all of my work is in a computer and a cell phone. Hey, so, that's so nice. Uh, my uh, all are really, really all of my work is in a computer. So uh, the computers makes my life easier okay so computers and, make and your some life program easier. and some program uh, are difficult to me but in youtube i found how to use the, the tutorials right you go you yes. go to the tutorials and then you find it very good job yes okay yes. so what about nidia what which one did you choose este, hi hello um the computers make a uh, easier life uh, or the uh, my come on, most close uh, to my family uh, it's a far away okay it makes you feel closer to your family that is far away good yes and how do they make it more difficult In my more difficult is a uh, game video games no, no puedo jugar video games. I can't play video games on the I computer. I can't play video games. Never. Okay, good. Let's see. Uh, let me see. Gabriela. Okay, I choose the second one. Uh -huh. And that affects me uh, so much because I can spend a lot of time just watching videos or playing video games is the, instead of uh, spending time with my family. Okay. And then you say like, oh, it's nine in the morning, 9 p.m. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a complete day in front of the computer. Okay, good. Very good. Jenny, tell me. Well, in my case, um, how do computers make my life easier? In my case, um, all all the day is um, I'm working in front of the computer uh, in order to um, create um, data, uh, graphics, um, uh, different activities uh, for my job. Uh, so when I don't have my computers near. It's complicated for me work um, through the cell phone because in um, although you in your cell phone you uh, could have uh, Excel and Word and PowerPoint is not the same like in the computer. 
exactly. It is not the same as working on the computer because, I mean, on the computer you have everything and you access easily, but on the phone it's complicated. Good, very good. And I need one more volunteer. Cesar Guadalupe, what can you tell us? And then Ever. Mr. Cesar, and then Ever. And then Ruth. And then Edson. <laughs> now everybody wants to participate. Okay, Mr. Guadalupe. I cannot listen to you. Creo que te me quedaste congelado. Ever, en todo lo que se nos conecta, César. Uh, in my case, the computer makes me easy, easier to draw mechanical pieces, uh -huh. but it turns more difficult to draw in paper. Yes, because you get so used to do it on the computer that when you want to do it by hand, yeah, the abilities, the abilities are not the same. Excellent, it's Ever. Almost zero. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it happens. What about you, Ruth, and then Edson? Uh, uh, about the question, what kinds of problems do computers cause? Uh, I think if the computer fails, you can lose information. Exactly. Or, uh, I don't know how to explain, for the computer to replace the people and do maybe lose the job. The job, right. exactly, right? Computers can replace people and you can lose your job. And it's like, no, a computer is going to do it. Look at the little robot in Sacamil. <laughs> Ya la niña Juanita ya no la necesitan para andar dejando cosas. So, it's a very difficult thing. A little robot is there giving the examples, the papers, etc. Right? Edson, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hey, um, how do computers make your life easier? Um, for me, teacher, um, I think it helps me a lot, a lot, of, a lot with homework work and homework of my son and to be learning more English online yeah. with you, teacher. <laughs> Thank you very much. It, yeah, it, it helps. Really, <laughs> it really makes uh, our lives easier as workers and students. Exactly. It makes our lives easier as workers and as students, right? It yeah. it really helps a lot, right? It's it our life is not that complicated once we have access to the computers. Okay, so here we have a little conversation that we are going to work on it. Please, I need you to check it and tell me if you have new words or new vocabulary on it. Tell me if you have new words or new vocabulary. Me teacher, uh -huh. what is the What is the meaning of? Prestar. Lent, okay, can you borrow? Can I borrow your phone? It says, yes, it's the meaning, the meaning of this is prestar, okay? Oh, ¿Me okay. puedes prestar un ratito? Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? And it says, sure. And you give it to the person, right? Can I borrow? ¿Me puedes prestar? Right. Ever, tell me. Uh, what is the meaning of dial? Dial. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, Marcar. Okay. Thank you. Any other question? Any question is okay. The questions that are not okay are the ones that you don't answer, that you don't ask. Okay, if there is no more questions, if there are no more questions, I am going to go and practice. And it says, can I borrow your phone to call my boss? 
I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good, it's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You will probably get his voice mail. You're right, it's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button or else you will leave our conversation on his voice mail. Okay, what is the lady explaining? What is the process that she's explaining here? The way to use the phone to make a call phone. Exactly, the way to use the phone to make a phone call. What is the first thing that you have to do when you are going to make a phone call? What is the first thing? Dial the Turn it on. Turn it on, Turn it on Turn right? It on. <laughs> that is the first thing, right? Because if it is not on, you won't do anything. First, turn it on. That is the first thing. Be sure to turn it on. What is the second thing? Don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, the second thing is don't forget to dial the, the area code. What is the next one? Press the call button. Press, Press the, the call button. button, right? Press the call button. The, button. the next one. What is the next step? Try not to get too excited. Try not to get too excited, right? Because if not, the saldo, right? It's going to disappear. The next one, make sure. Make sure. To hit the end. To hit the end button. Make sure you hit the end button. Good. So that's a process, right? And as you can see here, you don't use subjects in this sentence. You say, be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the code. Press the call button. Try not to get excited and make sure you finish the call, right? In this case, what we have here in the conversation are the sentences that I was explaining you yesterday. A little bit of imperatives and infinitives to give uh, suggestions, right? To give recommendations. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget. Make sure. Remember. Try not to. Imagine that you are going to go on a bus in El Salvador. What is the first thing we need to do? ¿Qué es lo primero que tenemos que hacer si vamos a ir a agarrar el bus? Make sure to request a stop. Okay. No, no, no. But what is the first thing? Vamos, salimos de la casa. What is the to first thing? To put your thing? cell phone and your money in your back. Have money. Have <laughs> coins. <laughs> Okay, put the cell phone and your money in your in the hidden pocket, right? En el más recondito y escondido. The second recommendation, have coins. Why? Why is it important to have coins? ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué es importante llevar okay. solo moneda? Maybe the car. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Maybe no. the chauffeur has no, no uh, more coin for the, the ball to, I don't know how to say, vuelto. The change. The Maybe change. the driver, the chauffeur, the chauffeur is private, right? Jaime, please. That's a chauffeur. But the, the one in the bus is driver, right? The driver is not going to have change, right? And later it's going to be like, no, hija, no llevo vuelto. And then buy, buy $5 because you are not going to receive your change. So the first thing that you need to do in order to get a bus is go to the bus stop. The first thing, go to the bus stop. What is the second thing you have to do? ¿Qué hacemos? Ya estamos en la parada de bus. Wait for the bus. What is the next one? Waiting for the bus. Which one, Jenny? 
up to the bus when the get, bus stop. Okay, get on the bus, right? Get on the bus. The first one, make the stop, right? You have to be like, <laughs> stop in the bus. <laughs> like, first, make sure that you are not ignored by the driver, right? Ay, ahí están esperando. Ay, hay que esperen. Bye. <laughs> and they just go. <laughs> and they don't look at you. That's so terrible. Okay, get on the bus. The next one. You are on the bus. Ya hey. se subieron. Hey. hey. For a seat. Have a seat. There are. <laughs> you, don't, you don't look for it. You have to pay. After you pay, you look for a seat, right? <laughs> no se va a ir a buscar asiento primero. <laughs> In my town, we say, oh, I'm going to pay you in, in a second. <laughs> and and we mochil. look for a seat first. Okay. <laughs> you go you go and get a seat and then you go and pay. Okay, <laughs> good. So you are sitting on the bus and later, when you arrive to your destination, what Just do you do? Request a stop. Request a stop. How do you request a stop in El Salvador, people? Ring the bell. <laughs> ring in the bell. Uh -huh. And if you don't have a bell to ring, Aquí me quedo. <laughs> Stop here. And then you hit the bus, right? Uh -huh. And then you hit the bus and then you stop. When the bus stops, what is the last thing you do? Say thank you. Leave yeah. the bus. You say thank you. What a beautiful thing. I always do it. Yeah, it's like, check it out. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye, ese señor. <laughs> That's what they do. And then you go down the bus. So that is a process, people. That is the process that we have just explained, right? The process that we have just explained is how to travel in El Salvador by bus. The first thing that we did, we say, walk to the bus stop, right? And then the next one, you say, make sure you have coins, okay? Stop the bus. Then get on the bus. The next one, make sure you get a seat. The next one, enjoy your trip. <laughs> beautiful trip and request for a stop and for a stop and go down the bus that is the process of traveling by bus here in our country and here we have you, for, you forgot uh, <gasps> yeah I, I, I went for free me fui de gratis <laughs> Make sure you have coins, right? And here, pay. Ah, we can say, don't forget. Don't forget to pay the driver. Okay, maybe we can have it around here, right? Don't forget to pay the driver. So that is the process of how to go and travel by bus in our country, right? What is the process of sending a WhatsApp message, people? I need you to write the steps. Así como les acabo de escribir yo los pasos de cómo viajar en bus, I need you, please, to tell me how to send a WhatsApp message. Ever, you have your hand up. First of all, you unlock your cell phone. Unlock your phone, uh-huh. And open WhatsApp app. Uh-huh. Uh, look for the chat, mm -hmm. the comfort person. You write the message or record a voice message and then send the message. And then send the message. Easy, easy. How do you make a phone call, people? How do you make a, how do you make a phone call? Explain me how to make a phone call. 
perdí la memoria, no puedo ocupar el teléfono. <laughs> How do you make a phone call? Make sure to recharge or or buy a a phone card. Okay. <laughs> to the, to recharge your phone. Okay, in that case you say make sure you have balance. Mm -hmm. Balance, balance is, is saldo, right? Make mm -hmm. sure you have balance on your phone. Uh -huh. Next, uh, unlock your phone. Unlock your phone, good. Next. Dial the phone number. Uh -huh. And then press the button, like call. Press the call button, uh huh. And be, come on, how can I say be, como rapido, like. Be quick. Uh -huh. Be quick and then press the end button. <laughs> okay, and press the end button. Good. Tell me, people, how do you, how do you, uh, let me see, how do you record a video in your phone? Make sure your cell phone is, uh, is charged. Okay, make sure it's charged, yes. You are going to need too much battery. <laughs> a lot of battery, yeah. Uh -huh. After that, uh, look for the um, uh, camera. Okay. And then uh, when you are inside of the camera, look for the video, um, bo bottom of video. But, uh -huh. Press the bottom the color red in order to start to, rec to record. To record, uh huh. And when you want to stop the record, play, um, press the button stop. Okay. <laughs> and that's it, right? Excellent. That's it. <laughs> where, where can I find the video? Where can I find a video on the phone? In the um, uh, gallery file. In the gallery file. Very good job. Tell me, people, how do I make a sandwich? What is the process to make a sandwich, people? First, you have to take the bread, uh -huh. the slices of bread, two uh -huh. slices of bread. And I like the mayonnaise. I don't know. Mayonnaise? So I put some mayonnaise uh -huh. and pepinesa. In the another slice. Sandwich spread <laughs> for the other one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, I used to put some tomatoes. Tomatoes. And lettuce. Lettuce. And, and jam. Jam. And then you eat it. <laughs> and then uh, you don't put cheese on it. <laughs> no, I don't like the, the cheese. Oh, you don't like jam and cheese. Okay, good. Yeah. I, I like to put cheese in, in, in the sandwich, but then you eat it, yum, yum, yum. Very good. So if I am going to visit El Salvador, what is a recommendation that you can give me? Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Make sure about what? What will be a recommendation that you give me? I could recommend you visit um, the, the beautiful beach. Okay, make sure you visit the beach. Very good. And eat a lot of traditional foods. Okay, eat a lot of traditional food. Very good. What other recommendation can you give me? Make sure to visit the Santa Ana Cathedral. Excellent. What a beautiful place. Make sure to visit yeah. Santa right. Ana's Cathedral. Uh -huh. Okay, pupusas. try pupusas. Very good. What else? Make sure to visit the pital. Make sure to visit el pital. Very good. What else? Teacher, how do you say pena in, in English? Shame. Don't be ashamed to ask for somewhere or for a direction. Okay. Uh, the people will, will answer you always. Okay. Don't be ashamed to ask for directions. I won't be ashamed. Okay. Very good. Are Salvadorians polite? Son amables los salvadoreños? 
Yes. 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 Okay. Ask for help with Salvadorian people. What else? ¿Qué más tengo que hacer si voy a El Salvador? Make sure brings a lot of kind of cloth. Okay. For the, for the different weather, as for example, for the hot, for the cold, uh, for the uh, rain, because it's a crazy weather. And make oh, sure okay. to tip them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because you know, we, we will have a very crazy, very crazy weather, right? Very good. Good recommendation. Very good recommendation. What is oh, an object oh. that I don't have to forget? Don't forget what? Don't forget the cell phone. Don't forget your cell phone. Very good. What else your should wallet. I? Your wallet. Your passport. Your passport. Your passport. Very good. What your else? ID. My ID. Very good. Do I have to take a camera? Yes. Yes. Sure. Do I need a hat? Or yes. an umbrella. And an umbrella. <laughs> an umbrella, a hat, a sweater, a raincoat. A lot a of water. Some boat. Sunscreen. A sunscreen. sunscreen. A, a lot of a water. Bottle of water. A, a bottle, bottle of water. A bottle of water. Good. Very good. So those are the things. What are the iconic places that I have to visit? Los planes de renderos. Ajá, uh -huh. make sure you go to los planes de renderos. What uh, else? Uh, I'm a center. Which one? Guatepec Lake. Guatepec Lake. Cesar, which one did you tell me? Historic Center. The Historic Center, very good. I need to go to the Historic Center, very good. <laughs> so those are recommend, don't forget your keys. Yes, Elvira. I will forget the keys. That is a very, very traumatic thing, right? To forget your keys in when you are in a different country. Don't forget your credit card. My credit card, right? To be spending money here in El Salvador. Do I need to change uh, for any specific currency? Sure. Yes. For example, um, uh, the, uh, the recommended measure. Uh, Hollywood is approaching to enjoy traditions. Hey, good, right? I can go and enjoy all the traditions about Holy Week. Excellent. Fantastic recommendations. So here I was asking you, right? Give recommendations to visitors traveling to El Salvador. When you use this one, you say, try not to do it. Remember to, don't forget, make sure, right? That is the form that we use for the different recommendations, right? In this case, we have three different things. The alarm system, the computer, the laptop computer, and the cell phone. These recommendations that I am going to read, it can be either for the alarm system, the cell phone computer, the cell phone, the cell phone or the laptop computer, right? We have the three things. Which is one that you need to keep it close to protect the screen? The computer. The computer, laptop right? Computer. The laptop computer. Don't forget to write down your secret code. Cell phone? Oh, the cell phone, right? Yes. What is another one that you don't have to forget the secret code? The your alarm. phone. Alarm. The, alarm the alarm system, right? Because imagine that you say like, mi casa está protegida por el sistema de alarmas. ¿Cuál es el código? No me acuerdo. <laughs> es tan seguro que no me acuerdo. So, you have to write down your secret code. The Wi-Fi. The, the Wi-Fi, yes. Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. The cell phone. Alarm. The alarm. The alarm. Ustedes apagan el teléfono tan pronto lleguen a la casa. <laughs> oh, we are not going to continue with that conversation. <laughs> Remember to turn it off as soon as you come into the door. The alarm system, okay? <laughs> Uy, mi esposa. Click. 
<laughs> you turn it off. No, right. <laughs> Try not to get it wet or the keys might get stuck. Try not to get it wet. The cell phone, right? Make cell sure phone. make sure to set it each time you leave home. The alarm system. Very good. Remember to recharge the batteries before they die. The cell phone. The, the, cell phone, phone, the, computer, the computer, computer. And the alarm system, right? Be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up. Cell phone. The cell, cell phone. phone. The cell phone, right? That is something that we need to remember. Make sure to turn it off. Here. Let me just go here. Sorry. It's on the book. I want to go to the book here. Okay. So here we have the infinitive complements. In the infinitive complements, we have don't forget to turn it on. Don't forget to turn it on. For example, any type of device that you are using right now, you have to turn it on. Todo, ahorita, todos los objetos hay que encenderlos primero. Remember to press the send button. Like when you are writing a WhatsApp message, right? Make sure to recharge the batteries. It can be for anything right now, right? Try not to drop it. Evite que? Botar. No dejarlo caer. No dejarlo caer, right? If not, ask my cell phone. Be sure to pay the phone bill every month. Because if not, they are going yeah. to cut it. <laughs> they will cut the service, right? Here, in this case, we have other examples. The microwave oven, the hair dryer, or the laptop computer. Unplug it after you use it. Laptop computer. The laptop computer? What else? We have the hair dryer and the, the microwave hair. oven. The hair dryer. Okay. Save your work often. In the computer. In the computer. The computer. computer. Recharge the batteries often. In the computer as well. The computer, right? Because the microwave doesn't use computer doesn't use batteries. Keep it away from water. Uh, Laptop, computer. The laptop, the three of them, the microwave, the dryer, everything. Don't spill drinks on it. It refers laptop computer. To the laptop computer, right? Don't put metal in it. Into the microwave. The microwave. Because it will explode. Don't heat closed containers in it. Into the microwave. Into the microwave. Don't expose it to extreme heat or cold. Mm, a computer. The laptop, computer. computer. the laptop computer or the dryer, the dryer, right? If not, it can explode as well, right? In the microwave, you have to be very careful not to put cookies on it, okay? I, I have a, a story about a friend, right? Hay unas galletas que ustedes las pueden poner en el microondas como tres segundos o diez segundos. Florentina, creo, no sé qué, cómo se llama. Yes. A, fr a friend of mine, ok, un amigo Felipe, venía como con la último invento de, miren esta galleta nueva, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto, y la metió al microondas por un minuto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was a complete mixture of plastic and cookies. It's too small too. <laughs> it, it was so horrible because everything was so smelly like plastic and we were like <laughs> it's very horrible. So uh, we learned that it was just for 10 seconds and not for one minute. So be Pichero. very careful. Uh -huh. <laughs> También me pasó algo bien gracioso. Me compré unas supuestamente mm -hmm. unas galletas Perdón, uh -huh. unas galletas en, en el dólar, en el dólar city, uh -huh. pero según yo ya eran preparadas, ¿verdad? Y cuando llego, cuando vengo a la casa me voy dando cuenta que, 
que eran para preparar, era solo como la harina. <ríe> Mejor no, obviamente no, no puedo Oh hacer my eso. god. So <laughs> it was just a flower. Oh my god. <laughs> so sorry I, for you. I I have an, an, an history too. Okay. And a friend of mine <laughs> uh, put an egg into the microwave and explode. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> what a horrible thing. No, uh, uh, another friend put aluminium inside of the <laughs> microwave oven. And it was like, psh, 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 psh. <laughs> it was just on fire. And we were so scared. That, that is we, dangerous. Yes, I, we thought that we were going to burn the office. And we were so scared <laughs> because, because of the, of the, Uh, the smoke alarm we were just like moving everything <laughs> outside it was really horrible it was very very horrible so be careful with the microwave people be careful with that so tell me people uh, i was asking you these different questions before right how to record a video how to send a message how to make a phone call and for sure how do you Uh, retrieve money from the ATM card. How do you make this? How do you retrieve money from the ATM card? ¿Cómo utilizamos esta? How do we use the ATM card? First of all, uh -huh. you have to have a, a debit or credit card. Uh -huh. Then we go to the ATM And we insert the credit or debit card. Then we get, like, we use the password. Uh -huh. And then we select the amount of money. And then we do, like, <laughs> we, we press the, the finish <laughs> button. We, we, check, we check both sides. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then you get the money. Yeah, <clears throat> and it is. I I just love to go to the to the ATM in El Salvador. Edgar, ha, Edgar happy que uh, uh, I see the the money. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, and you receive the money, and then you take your card, right? That's important, right? To take your card from it. Okay, good. Before we go to the a, a day in your life in the year 2020, I am going to call the attendance. Okay, I am going to stop right here. A day in your life in the year 2020. When the writers did the book, they didn't imagine that all this was going to become a reality. Okay, ya cuando lo lean se van a dar cuenta. That they thought that it was going to be different, but you will see. Okay, I am going to call the attendance and remember when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? I am going to go over here. And, okay, Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, Marta 7, yes. Angel Alejandro. Angelito. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilia de Los Ángeles. Here teacher. César Guadalupe. Here teacher. Edgar. Here teacher. Edson Stanley. Present teacher. Eduardo José. Present teacher. Elvira. Present teacher. Ever Ernesto. Eversito. Gabriela Michelle. Present teacher. Isabel. Present teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Joana Yesenia. Present teacher. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Carla Fabiola. Carlita is here. She wrote on the chat. Catherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. 
Ok. Katherine Alejandra, sí la mencioné, ¿verdad? Miguel, yes. Nidia también. Eh, Raúl de Jesús. Present. Present. Thank you. Reina Elizabeth. Reinita. Right in the chat. She's on chat. the chat. Ah, ok. Present. present on the chat. Good. Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. And Jancy. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Another day of perfect attendance. That is so fantastic. Let's just go to what we were doing. Okay. A day in the life in the year 2020. I am going to go over the reading. And if you have different questions, please let me know. We are going to start with paragraph number one and two. Any question on vocabulary, people? Paragraphs one and two. Teacher, uh, what is less? What is the meaning of less? less. More or less? Menos. Less is menos. But when you say people used to know more or less, it's like más o menos. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Daydreaming, teacher. Daydreaming. You are daydreaming. It's like when you are awake, but you are thinking about something different. Okay. Jesús is, está en clase y todo, pero está en otro lugar. Your mind, it's somewhere else. Thinking about something else. Está soñando despierto. That it's daydreaming. You are daydreaming behind the wheel. It's just like, ah, I remember that. Yeah. Uy, I'm driving, right? You are daydreaming. Any other question? No more? No more new vocabulary? No more teaching. Okay, so Jose Daniel, can you help me with the first part? And Joanna, help me with the second paragraph. Okay, teacher. Danielito, you start. People who said to now more or less how their children will lie. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't have it now what ours home life will be like in a few years. What follow is not a sciency question. It's how experts see the future. Okay, the future. Let's listen to pronunciation. It says, people used to know, people used to know more or less how their children will be, will live. Will, yeah, how let me just go back. People used to know more or less how the children will live. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own lives will be like in a few years. What follows is not science fiction. It's how experts see the future. Joanna. You're day, day, day dreaming. Daydreaming. 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 Make... Daydreaming. Oh. Behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot. Pilot. Oh, pilot. Pilot. And with its high tech computer, computers and cameras, your car knows how to get you home safely. Okay. You are daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot. And with its high-tech computers and cameras, your car knows how to get you home safely. So that is the first part here. Let's continue with the next paragraph. This one over here. Read it to see if you have questions on vocabulary.
questions on vocabulary, people? What is the meaning teacher of the subtracted? Okay, subtracted, it's, it's taken off. Okay, it says the money subtracted from your bank account. So if you have $20 on your bank account and the food was $10, shook, the bank takes automatically the $10 from your bank. Okay, thank you. Cobrados. Goodbye, money. Bye-bye, money. <laughs> exactly like that. All right. No more questions? If you don't have questions, I will ask Isabel to help me reading the paragraph. Okay, teacher. Um, but I, I have a question. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of order? Order. Order is order. exactly as in Spanish. You order oh. groceries, ordenaste. Oh, okay, teacher. You're um, hungry. You're hungry, so you head for the kitchen as soon as you get home. You order groceries by computer an hour ago, and you know that by now they arrive. Your kitchen has a two-way refrigerator, which opens to the upside the to accept deliveries you already paid for the food by having the money extracted from your bank account nobody use cash and no anymore okay good so pronunciation issues it says you're hungry you're hungry so you head for the kitchen Te diriges a la cocina. So you head for the kitchen as soon as you get home. As soon as, as soon as you get home. You ordered, ordered groceries by computer an hour ago, right? An hour ago. And you know that by now they have arrived. Your kitchen has a two-way refrigerator, refrigerator, which opens to the outside, Right, que se abre para afuera y para adentro, which opens to the outside to accept deliveries. You have already paid for the food by having the money subtracted from your bank account. Nobody uses cash anymore. Right, nobody uses cash anymore. Here we have the next prediction. Here we have this paragraph. Okay. Let's analyze this one. Analyze that paragraph. Tell me for new words or new vocabulary. What is a stop off? Let's see. We used to stop off. Parar. Parar para comprar. Right? Imagine that you are coming in La 29, right? Bajando La 29, ahí por la universitaria, and you say, apoyo campero, when you stop. Wendy's, when you stop. Pizza, when you stop. That's to stop off. Any other one? No? This is pretty easy, right? No more. Okay, Gabriela, help me to read it. Okay, um, what's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to buy a hamburger or pizza. Now you use your diagnostic machine to find out which food your body needs. You find out you need more vegetables and less fat. Your food preparation machine makes you a salad. Excellent pronunciation. Very good job, Gabby. I don't have any, any comments about pronunciation, right? Diagnostic machine. And it prepares a salad. This is your diagnostic machine, as you can see. It's like no more pizza, no more hamburgers, no more fast food. You need vegetables. <laughs> Okay, no more waste of food. And here, let's go to the next one over here. 
Let's read it to find new words or new vocabulary. Here, let's, I will make it smaller. It looks better. Questions on vocabulary. And I am going to ask Miguel Angel to read it. Right. Uh, after lunch, you go down the hall to your home office where you have everything you need for doing your work. Thanks to your information screen and your new computer. You almost never go into the office anymore. Okay. After lunch, you go down the hall to your home office. Here you have everything you need for doing your work. Thanks to your information screen and your new computer, you almost never go into the office anymore. Thank you, Mr. Miguel. And the last paragraph that we have for today, this one. Any question on vocabulary? And if we don't have any question, I am going to ask uh, Edson to help me to read it. Okay. The information screen shows an urgent message from a coworker in Brazil. You set the screen to translate Portuguese into English as the way you think about later when you have a, mo a movie transmitted, but you, what movie show you order tonight? Exactly. The information screens shows an urgent message from a coworker in Brazil. You set the screen to translate Portuguese into English. As you wait, you think about later when you will have a movie transmitted. What movie should you order tonight? So this book was written around what in 2000 or 2001 right el libro lo escribieron por allá del 2001 lo empezaron a escribir y a crear salió como en el 2004 cuáles de todas estas predicciones son reales mm -hmm. do we have cars that drive that are self-driven tenemos carros que se manejan solos the Tesla cars. Yeah. The Tesla cars, right? We have it. So this one, ching ching. Yes, we have the, the cars. The but robot. The robot that predicts the food. We have it. What yes. about the food going to your house when you order it and they charge you in your bank? Yes, we have it. We have it. Yeah. We have the selectos thing, right? And the Walmart thing and the price mark thing that they take the food to your house. The only thing that we don't have is the refrigerator. El refrigerador que se abre para la calle y para la casa, we don't have it, right? Si no nos roban la comida. That's the only thing that we don't have. What about the diagnostic machine for food? Now you have your, your apps for the nutrition and things that you can use. What about home office? Nowadays, almost everyone works. Works at home. Office. We are an example of this prediction, right? You go to your office, you go to your bed and you have it. What about the translation in real life conversation? The Google Translator. Yes. We have it, right? Also, Zoom has an option of subtitles. And the last one, what movie is going to be transmitted tonight? What is that? Netflix. Netflix, right? We have everything. And it is curious that a book that was written in 2004 predicted the future. This is like The Simpsons, right? <laughs> it predicted the future for us. Well, my dear class, uh huh? It's funny that they are in a car that have an automatic pilot, but they uh, read a diary. 
the newspaper, right? They are reading the newspaper. That is so funny. And they are reading a book, right? And the Tesla car is nothing similar to this one, right? They are very beautiful. Well, so tomorrow we are going to talk about celebrations. So please, I need you to investigate a little bit about the different celebrations. What are they about? And what are the things that people do in these specific days? So we are going to be working on this, on celebrations. And we are going to talk about relative clauses of time. Okay, relative clauses of time. It's what you use to describe a day. Christmas is a day when people, Christmas is a day when families, right? Those are relative clauses of time. Well, my dear students, it was a very beautiful class talking about the future that we are living in. I am going to see you tomorrow. Rest a lot and have a wonderful night. Bye-bye, my dear students. Thank you so students. much. Good night. 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 Good